originally came up with the concept, I guess, for this piece way back in 2008. Um, the original intention being to do a 20-year anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall in 2009. The project was kind of conceived to really look at telling history in a different way, using different art forms, and uh, we commissioned Karen Wimhurst to write this, the music that you'll hear as part of this piece, um, you know, I think back in 2009 and then from there the project mushroomed until the multimedia extravaganza that is taking place at the Shelley Theatre these two days. This is our last decisive fight. The human race will Trying to describe it is quite difficult because it's not an opera, it's not a musical. Um, it's, uh, I see it as a score that's been composed to, um, through the narrative of this historical timeline. Constantina such a huge and complicated historical period <laughs> into an hour and a half uh, and to choose what you were going to highlight and what you're going to miss out I mean all of that because you can only do snapshots really so those were very difficult decisions and to make some kind of a through line which um, goes through you know uh, decades of history <laughs> One 
day in the life of the gulags. The bread ration's 55 grams, 20 grams short. Break into. Stitch, stitch, stitch. The tear in the mattress mended, the bread concealed. Stitch, stitch, stitch. The edge of a hunk of bread is in a pocket near to his heart. Nibble and chew, bit by bit. Working the crumbs to a paste on his tongue. Nibble and chew, bit by bit. Sucking it into his cheeks. Nibble and chew, bit by bit, how good. How good it tasted. Soggy black bread. Not a crumb, not a crumb, not a crumb. Should fall. <laughs> So I got very interested in, as I was reading through the history, uh, sort of digging around and finding all different kinds of sound sources and to inspire me. So bits and pieces came in like, um, well, gypsy music, which was very suppressed during the Stalinist era, um, you know, Ukrainian folk music, and then traditional Red Army songs, uh, Red Army marches, um, plastic people of the universe who were, were a protest band during the, uh, the Prague Spring, they were a Czech band. And so all these kind of inspirations and quotes came into the music. intends to do in the immediate future, or what are the limits, if any, to their expansive and proselytizing tendency. I have a strong admiration and regard for the valiant Russian people, and for my wartime comrade, Marshal Stalin. Uh, there is deep sympathy and goodwill in Britain, and I doubt not here also towards the people of all the Russia and a resolve to persevere through many differences and rebuffs in establishing lasting friendship. <laughs> to create a, a, vi a visual backdrop uh, for the performance and uh, I had um, uh, original illustrations by Lisa Berkshire which uh, I, I was really happy to incorporate and which were particularly created for the show uh, which I have uh, mixed with original historical footage which I've sourced on the internet and sort of, yeah, it's been a very creative process to blend different mediums such as illustration and film together. A great grey swollen body That digests all things, transmutes all, its piteous convulsions even demanding applause. taking no notice of us. Into a copy of a 
it's been ridiculously good that we've had um, such a strong, strong directing team. So having Catherine Pierce, who's fantastic and she's really experienced, and she's got a really um, distinctive, like she she knows exactly what she wants. And the same with Karen, she's got a, again a distinctive style, and um, it's just. It's, They've managed to make something that's really different than anything I've ever seen before, anyway. <laughs> Why should I join the army? I've been very surprised. If you have